agricultural stakeholders in Oyo State are calling on the government to re-access its policies, which they believe will hinder the growth of farmers and players in the sector. Recent policies such as the high cost of diesel and the reopening of borders for certain food items have further reduced the competitiveness of farmers in the agro-processing sector. Simon Igbufasi suggested that technology-driven initiatives could help reduce dependence on electricity and diesel usage. He proposed converting farm wastage into power energy to power energy-efficient farm processing machines. Other stakeholders emphasize the importance of information sharing among farmers, utilizing modern farm machinery to increase yield and implementing favorable government policies to drive the economy. Consume 150 liters of diesel per hour to operate. So that tells you how much energy is required to operate an industry in a rural location. And that's where solar PV has a limitation. It might be able to meet part of that load or even all of that load during the day. But well, if they're operating through the night, that's when you need a bioenergy solution so that we can convert what you see behind me in waste biomass into renewable electricity and renewable heat. That, uh, and the delivery of those to uh, the processing plants, such as where we are today at, uh, at the Atmancor uh, site facility, processing Cassava field. So I, I think the challenges are to make all of these technologies and innovations interact with people to, bring, uh, to make that uh, circular economy work effectively. Now, looking at how we can use um, some different products, but we'd love if government could come out with some, some initiatives to assist the processors to reduce cost um, so that we can uh, increase output and really uh, focus on providing less expensive food to Nigerians.